Hello everybody, my name is Zach, aka The Weather Gamer, bringing you APA Indigo, uh, Season 3. Season recap for your Chicago Charizards here. First off, you can see here Mon Records, My Record. That minus 23 differential sucks. I'm super, super not happy with it. You can see I went with my typical APA skid from week 6 to week 10. I lost 5 games in a row which seems to be a common occurrence in APA. But the one key thing that I want to point out is I went 4-8, and eight, which is the best I've ever done in APA. Season 1, I had a 3-9 and nine record, but one of those was a forfeit win. Season 2, I had a 2-10 and ten record. So technically counting Season 1, um, removing the forfeit win, I had a 2-8 and um, eight season because I took over with a loss. Um... So, in two seasons of APA, I had won four games combined. This season, I won four games, doubling my win total in APA. I think I might have turned the curve. I'm not 100% certain yet. I want to see how it goes in Season 4, which I plan to return to as long as Panther and Blinn will have me back. I view this season as a, su as a success in showing that I know that I'm getting better as far as battling goes. I won four games. But I feel like I failed some of the Mons here pretty badly. And I also made some pretty some pretty critical errors here uh, this season. I'm, I'm going to talk about them. So um, I don't know what position I finished in. So I'll update you guys somehow with that. But, um, yeah, I, I do not know what position I finished in at this time because I'm done. I finished early um, just because I wanted to get APA out of the way so I could prep while I was getting ready for surgery, prep and record a bunch, and I knew I wasn't making playoffs. So I was like, let's just get this out of the way. Um, yeah, and you know the roster went through some changes. I slow, oh, the slow king got swapped. Save line, dust noir. Eradicate something else. Magnet zone got dropped. Um, but yeah, kicking off the season with a win, great. I love that. Like, hey, I won my first week in. I think I did it in Season 2 as well. But hey, that was a good way to start it off. Mentz came in and cleaned up and did really, really well. Feeling good. I choked Week 2, and I got really, really upset by it. Got caught in my head again about the you got to win every game for people to care and watch you and support you, which isn't true. And then life kind of smacked me sideways from when I played week three, losing to Jimmy, which I had never done before. Um, I went back and I reviewed the previous two matches versus Jimmy and I had a 6-0 and a 5-0, and then I got 5 of this time. Which means either A, I'm getting worse, B, Jimmy has gotten a lot better, or C, I just slept on Jimmy. And I want to say it's a combination of B and C, that I slept on Jimmy not expecting him to be able to beat me, and that I just didn't prep correctly for it, which is true, because at the time when Jimmy and I went to play, we had WWC kicked off, and we were drafting, and somebody quit, and I was trying to figure out why they quit, and keep the draft rolling, and this and that, and this and that, and then Jimmy's like, hey, let's play. I was like, uh, okay. My mistake. Not making an excuse for it this far down the line it's just i need to be a little more focused and not more not overbooking myself which is what had happened because aabl apa pcf wwc wwc d league and ttm summer showdown way too much three leagues never more so that is part of what attributed to some of the slump um shadow god tier team to beat Frost, um, I beat Aurora, which was great, then the slump begins, 03, 04, 05, 04, 04, 
that line right there just destroyed my differential. Destroyed any hopes of playoffs. Um, week 10 through 12, I memed. Like, straight up, I just screwed around because at that point, I was like, I'm not making playoffs. I don't care. It's whatever. Let's just... Let's just mess around. And so, versus Shy, I failed to bring Trick House. Oh, well. I'm going to try that meme someday again. Versus what I thought was a meme versus um, Hacker. It's bro, uh, Crow Bro actually worked for some reason. Apparently that's not a meme, but I thought it was a meme. And then the six Scarfers, or five Scarfers and Omega failed again. You know, I haven't figured out how to pull that one off yet. I need a team that can pivot to do that. But, you know, it is what it is. I, it wasn't that bad. Like, this season had some rough spots, but it wasn't a terrible season. Definitely a low losing week two and then losing to Jimmy right after that. Definitely a low point um, losing to Spies. That broke me pretty hard. Um, I hate Toxic Stall. I really do. Or Bulky Stall. I absolutely am disgusted by that type of play. And... That's what happened versus Spies, is his Giratina just bulked me to hell, and then Toxic to several moms, and I couldn't, I couldn't break him, and it frustrated me, and it pissed me off, and I lost my cool, which was not okay, but, you know, I got anger issues, and I'm working on them. So let's go mon by mon, here, uh, Mega Mints, 10 kills, 10 deaths, way underperformed i failed mega salamance straight up failed it that thing should have had double the kills and i didn't get anywhere close to that it started so well and then i just could not get mints going i'd set up at the wrong time i wouldn't set up when i needed to get set up um, i let it get chipped down too much I just, it's the same issue that I had with Zardex. I just wasn't creative with it. I started running D-Dance Roost, Double Edge, Earthquake every single week. And you can't do that. You gotta vary men's sets in that. And yeah, I just, I really, really screwed that up. And I feel bad because Mens is a powerhouse and should have done so much better. But you guys know I drafted it again, so redemption time in APA, Infinity. Time to redeem ourselves. Uh, Ferrothorn, one kill, five deaths. The big, th okay, so the big thing when I team build a lot, and I've talked to Connor about it, and when I draft, you guys see me draft a lot of the same mods. You see Zara Aura come a lot. You see, um... If there's a fire type that I'm hot on, like Magmortar, you'll see that. You'll see Alolan Ninetales. How many freaking drafts did I draft that thing in a row? Because I like the safe comfort of mods that I know, because then I can build with them, and then I can hopefully win and do well. Conversely, on the flip side of that, is I get predictable. I also don't care for some mons just because of how it has turned out with me. Ferrothorn is a staple on rain teams, yet I refuse to use Ferrothorn. I don't care for it. I really don't. And this season of APA just kind of reinforced that. I tried everything. I tried lefty sets. I tried seed sets. I tried banded sets. I tried that weird freaking set that Shadow gave me that took out Cartana with HP Fire. That was its one kill of the season. I just... I don't know. I can't get behind Ferrothorn. I really can't. It's just not my type of mod. It's too slow. It's too passive for me. And I am going to have to just go play with it for a while because... I really don't understand Ferrothorn. At all. I feel like that was just wasted being on my team. And at that point, there was nothing I could do because there was no good steel type out there. So. I mean, I tried the spike stack. 
of a hazard stack so just not good in my mind thank you phone um i don't know i i'll try ferrothorn again but it's gonna be a while last time i had ferrothorn was ipa which you guys never saw any of those games which was way almost a year ago so probably gonna avoid ferrothorn like the plague for a little bit florgis i don't know uh it's one kill was amazing it killed a mega charizard x because it was scarfed into psychic god damn it shadow um i love it as a cleric i love that it can wish pass but again it felt like i was bringing wish aromatherapy moon blast coverage or something else defog it just it was too much the same set i couldn't mix my sets up with it and that's partially a failure on my part to uh for changing that or figuring out how to change the setup in that i do want to try florgis again i do like florgis i think it's a very good cleric but i might go try sylveon i might go try a different fairy type first um before i come back to florgis but I'm definitely not done with Florgis, like I am with Ferrothorn, where I'm just, I, I've had enough. I don't want to mess with Ferrothorn. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I know Florgis can be better than what it was, and it just, I don't know, it didn't work. Zero Aura, this was the second biggest disappointment for me this season, besides how little kills Mega Mance was, was how Zero Aura performed. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that I stopped building Zero Aura the way I build Zero Aura, and I started building Zero Aura the way everyone else was telling me to build Zero Aura. Zero Aura going into this league was 24 and 15 in two leagues. Two times I used it, WWC Season 1 and PCF Season 2. And both times it picked up a kill every game it came. It, had, it went 12 and 7 and 12 and 8 the two seasons I used it. And this season it got six, it got half that. It got six kills, nine deaths. I think a lot of that has to do with me focusing too much on trying to get Mens kills or trying to get Magmortar kills or trying to bring in something else to get kills. Like, I feel like Zero Aura can do, it can do so much better. I know it can. It's one of my best performing mons for this reason i know it i trust it it's such a good mon it's such a fantastic z crystal user because it gets outrage for one thing fight z electric z grass z um it's a good mon i'm gonna draft it again you can bet your ass i'm gonna draft it again because zero aura is one of my favorite mons to use period Really hope it survives the Thanos snap, or the Masuda snap, and makes it into, uh, um, Gen 8, because I need my special kitty. Physical and special split, like, Zero Aura is such a good boy. Such a good boy, and I love it, and I will be using it again. I've tried drafting it at least once already. I tried draft since I drafted it here. I tried drafting it in APA Infinity. Curse you, Slick, for stealing that from me. And I tried to draft it in AABL. Got that sniped again. And I tried to draft it in WWC, and Jake sniped it out from underneath me. Um, it is literally one of the best mons I have ever used, and I know how to use it. It's one of my specialties. And I'm not getting bored with it because... Or predictable, because there are so many different sets that I can run with it. You never know what's coming out of my Zero Auras. So, I don't know. I'm disappointed with how I use Zero Aura this season. We'll draft it again for redemption at some point. I hope. Uh, Crook. First time I've ever used Crook. Really surprised that it got seven kills and died seven times. I think a couple of those might be Stealth Rock kills, but... You know, I don't know. Um, I had never used Crook before. Um, it's been a mon that's on my list. It just, I've never been able to find a way to grab it. 
Dual Intimidators was great. Um, it came Scarfed a little bit too much. I kind of ran Scarfed Crook way too many times, and that's something that I would like to change. I know Scarfed Crook is really, really good, but I think a Life Orb set or a Belted set would be really, really good. Its move pool's not the greatest. Like, it does have a very good move pool, but compared to some other mons, there's greater move pools. I do like my Gly score for uh, ground type. But this gives me options. Listen, I'm now comfortable with Crook. So if I can't take Gly score for some reason, I could go grab Crook. If I'm not going to run Sand, then I don't need to worry about Drill. I can grab Crook. You know, you see where I'm going with this. So I, I am really impressed that Crook was second on my team in kills. As like was there aura that really surprised me but yeah i do like crook i will try crook again in the future so far ferrothorn is the only one that i absolutely will not touch again until now nihilego hate this mon absolute trash not my play style get the fuck out of here i don't ever want to use nihilego again i don't i do not like the ultra beast to begin with like, Solo Steel is the only one that I've had any sort of fun and success using. And that was hardly any success anyways. Um, yeah, I know, it's a rocker, it's a spiker, it's a good scarf abuser. But I just hate it. I don't... Its move pool is terrible. I don't like its stats. Like, Power Gem is its best attacking move on the rock, for a rock type on its special. So I'd rather have a physical rock type attacker, but I don't know. That's my opinion, and you can roast me in the comments for giving up on a mon that's probably pretty decent, but I will not use Nihilego for a long time, if at all, ever again. That's another one of those garbage heap mons for me, as is Heracross. I love Heracross as a design. When Ash had his Heracross, amazing. I It's not my play style. It's too slow. It really is. Heracross is just too slow. Yeah, I brought Scarfed. Yeah, I brought Guts. But it's also the same move. Pool, Knockoff, Earthquake, or Stone Edge. Mega Horn, Close Combat. Not a lot of variety to that. I mean, yeah, Facade, if I want to run Guts boosting, yeah, I brought a Sub-Swords Dance set. But you can see, just like Nihilego, it came to four games and that was it. Because I wanted nothing to do with it after I lost a game with it because I was Scarfed. I missed a Mega Horn or something. I don't honestly remember, but I was done with Heracross at that point and tried to trade it and... I was going to drop it, but there weren't any good fighting types for me to go grab, so I was like, fine, just sit there. Maybe I'll change my mind. But I love Heracross as a mon, design-wise, I hate it in League. So probably will be staying away from that, and I will not ever draft Mega Heracross. I can guarantee you that, because I hate Mega Heracross. And again, I know if Connor ever watches this, he's going to roast my ass for not being open to using new mons. Except here's the thing, Slowbro has made me open to using new mons. Yes, yeah, Slowbro is uh, 6 and 7 there, but I picked it up at 1 and 3 from uh, Shine, I think it was, or maybe it was Slack Out. I don't remember which one I picked it up off of. So it went 5 and 4 under my watch. Um, Crowbro picking up 2 kills in week 11 and actually winning me that game. Um, I would have beat, who would I have beat with Crow, or Crow Bro? I might have beaten Noons with Crow Bro had I not screwed up trying to regen with it. I could have potentially won with Crow Bro had I not screwed that up. And so I am now open to playing bulkier. I usually draft hyper offense teams fast speeds hit like truck but not a lot of bulk on the back end to take hits 
Uh, ABL comes to mind on that one. Um, WWC kind of is lacking in the bulk. Uh, Infinity's kind of lacking in the bulk. Um, I tend... No, actually, Infinity is pretty decent bulky-wise. There's an Arceus and a Vaporeon sitting there. Those are two pretty fat pawns. Um, Mega Man's is decently fat, too. Um, anyways... Slowbro, I love it. Physical and special sets, because of Z-Belly Drum. Kind of like Magmortar can do. Or not Z, but at least Belly Drum. Um, it, ha it has physical and special sets. Dragon Tail to push things out. Decent move, like it has Flamethrower to hit, and Fire Blast to hit Grass types. Um, it gets Zap Cannon for some reason. Um, obviously Scalding, very, very nice. It's bulky and defensive. Yeah, it's slow, but hey, Trick Room. Um, I almost pulled that off, too. I like it, and because of that, it's opened me to using other bulkier mons. I want to try Suicune sometime, because yeah, Slowbro and Suicune do kind of the same thing. Crowbro, Crocoon. But I'm more open to using bulky mons now because of seeing the success I had with Slowbro. Five kills. Not bad. Like, that's pretty good for a Mon for me, actually, for a season. If it's not, like, Zero Aura. So, I'm really, really interested in Slowbro going forward. I want to try Mega Slowbro sometime, but I'm not sure how to do that. Um, yeah. Uh, definitely, definitely open to that. Espeon. Three games. 0-3. Not drafting Espeon again, and I know that's going to break Connor's heart, and I'm sorry, Connor. This is the third time with Espeon, and I'll talk about this when I show the Battle League stats. Third time with Espeon. Espeon is 2-11, and 11, minus 9, all time. I know Espeon's really, really good. Magic Bounce plus 110 um, speed and 120. 20, I want to say special attack, or maybe it's 110 special attack. It can be a good mon. Combine Storm Power, Combine Psy Shot, Combine Psychic. Like, it's, it can be such a good mon, but not in my hands. It's not my play style. It really isn't. I just don't understand Espeon. I can't figure it out. I couldn't figure it out in PCF. I definitely didn't figure it out in AADL. And I did not, I'd rather bring Slowbro over Espeon. I didn't figure it out this season either. So, I think until I train with the Espeon Masters, I'm going to have to pass on Espeon. I love Espeon. It is one of my favorite evolutions. Unfortunately, I just can't use it. So, I think Espeon's going to join along with Ninetales in the vault for a while, and... I will probably draft a little of Nine Tails before I draft Espeon again. Just short and simple. Sableye. So Dusk War did nothing. Sableye almost did something. Greatest thing in the world. Sableye got off a Focus Punch kit, uh, hit. Highlight of its season. Um, no, but honestly, I do like Sableye. I need to learn how to use it a little better. Learn how to make it work prankster-wise. I would kill... This is on my to-do list, and Connor knows about it, because I asked Connor to help me build a team around it. I would kill to try Mega Sableye sometime. I really, really, really want to try Mega Sableye, because Mega Sableye just plays into my wheelhouse. Magic Bounce, after... Especially if it's... Well, the only way I'd use it is if it's not the first turn Mega Rule, because... Sableye having Prankster to get Calm Mind up, and then Mega Evolving on the Toxic. Really, really good. Or getting set up, recovering, Calm Minding, taking a hit, recover, Prankster recover, you know. Get itself set up, get itself to full health, Mega Evolve clean. So I really want to try Mega Sableye, and I'm open to using Standard Sableye again. Kind of got stuck in a loop where I was just bringing Taunt, Prankster Taunt, all the time. I think it was Taunt, Willow Toxic, Recover, and then Attack. So I need to vary that just a little bit. But I'm open to trying Sableye again. Definitely, definitely a Mon that I can get behind. 
and all that. Dusk Noir was not. I drafted Dusk Noir here, and I drafted Dusk Noir in... Um, AABL, and I don't think it hit the field in either league at all. So, yeah, Dusk Noir is gone. That's not happening again. Another disappointment, because I had so much fun using it in preseason when I was doing the test matches versus Ixy and... Um, others and just looking at the move pool and I think part of it has to do with I forced Magmortar to do too much. I was trying to force kills with Magmortar instead of letting it naturally come. And yeah, I think that's also part of the reason Zeraora suffered and part of the reason I had an issue. I did stop bringing Magmortar for several weeks. I think I went week when I started the losing streak, week 6 until week 8. I didn't bring Magmortar at all for those three games, and uh, I don't know. I want to try Magmortar again. It is a cheap, low-tier fire that can run mixed move pools, it is a very, very good Z user, and hits like a goddamn truck. Seriously, it hits like a truck. Um, and I'm, I'm open to using Magmortar again. I will use Magmortar again, but I, I'm going to try some other fire types first, um, and see when it boomerangs back. Uh, Magnazone slash Raticate, never used, never hit the field. I literally picked up Raticate because I had a point left after I picked up Sableye. I had a point left... And I had just gotten beat by Giratina, which had I had normal Raticate, I couldn't have been touched by the Giratina and wouldn't have gotten 4 would So, yeah, I picked it up to stop ghosts. I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever grab Raticate again. It literally was just, hey, I want to stop ghosts. Let's stop ghosts with that, so... Yeah, that's, that's kind of just Mon by Mon, the breakdown. You can see the season here. Um, I'll save a copy. Actually, I'm just going to save a copy of this right now. Before I forget. Time to immortalize this team. It's not a championship team. Pokemon, Draft League, the previous teams... APA Season 3. I'm going to have to rename those to Indigo at some point because I'm in Infinity now. Um, so yeah, that's it for the last time. We're going to remove it from the bookmarks bar because I no longer need to look at it. I've got my stats. Let's go take a look at the stats now. Overall record, 37 and 62. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 leagues, 37. It's about a 3 and 9 record average. We'll work on that. Slowly, we'll work on that. Uh, minus 99 differential. I would like to point your attention to this as to why I have a minus 9. 9 differential. APA has been very, very difficult for me. PCF was very, very difficult for me, and WWC Season 2 kind of had the wheels fall off of it. Yeah. Anywho, um, and you can see here, AABL, I actually haven't played my playoff match yet, so that's why I'm 0 2 minus 7, and there's no note for AABL yet. But yeah. Um,. Really, the only note I had was I was in too many leagues. I think I did better this season about worrying about winning and losing all the time. I didn't let it get to me as much. That might be because AABL went so well for me, and PC or WWC has been going pretty well so far. But I also think that maybe I might have put that to bed, that issue to bed... Yeah, I still get pissed when I lose, but that's more because I'm pissed at myself for screwing up something. 
but it's no longer affecting me, like, where I need to take a day off of Discord or something, because I'm so upset. So, that feels like progress to me, and just, it sh I can see my growth, like, okay, this was RNG, so I wouldn't necessarily say that this was 100% me. This was pretty damn good. That might have just been luck because it was my first season and running my own league and it's not a high-powered league where it's, like, APA is a little more high-powered um, as far as coaches go, as far as competition goes, whereas WWC is more of a friendly league. Um, but you look. Get that. We, we don't talk about this league. But you look, three, two, two, three, right there in those four leagues. But now you look, okay, I picked up four wins. I haven't done that since that was October or November when I dropped out of FWL, right before I joined APA. AABL, I picked up five wins, more than I had since WWC Season 1. PCF, I was 3-3 three and three when I dropped out. Based on that, it'd be 6-6 six and six if I went the same way on the back end. Probably wouldn't happen that way, but still, it looks like I'm turning the corner. I think WWC, I'm 3-3 three and three in right now as well. It looks like I'm starting to understand what I'm doing here. No more of these really rank seasons. I'm starting to figure it out and get a little better. I think, anyways. Um, where are my APAs? <laughs> there you go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I really, after week five, I kind of just fell off there. One, two, three, four, five. I still have those hiccups. I still have those hiccups where I just, I get washed a lot in a row. I mean, it's it happened in AABL. I had three straight weeks where I got washed. Um... I have never won a Week 7 game in my career. Just an FYI. I've never won a Week 12 game in my career. Either. Week 2 has been very, very nice to me, as has Week 3. So, anyways. I don't matter. Mon record-wise, because I know a lot of people like seeing this, and then I will get out of here before we hit 40 minutes on the second video I've recorded today. Um, Zeraora has officially jumped Mega Garchomp. By four kills, it is plus six. Mega Garchomp is still the best KD ratio ever on my teams. Like, that thing was just a nightmare. I need to recapture that lightning in a bottle, but... You can see Zeraora is officially two kills behind Alolan Ninetales from taking over at that spot. And Alolan Ninetales had to go seven leagues to do that. Zeraora averages a ten and eight record. Which is not bad. Um, like I said, it was averaging two kill or twelve kills per season, but the season kind of went off the tracks. Uh, Mega Mens jumped into sixth position at ten and ten, uh, right below Mega Low Punny and Mega Zard X. Hmm, I wonder what Megas I am good at. It looks like the Dragon Megas, um, Chomp, Zard, and Mens are all up there. Mega Low Punny was a surprise. I, I have no idea why I was able to use that so well. Um, we're going to skip a, a couple of these because spoilers. Um, so where are you? There's Crook. Crook came in at uh, uh, tied for 16th with Nido King, um, which is really good. I like the fact that I have multiple ground types I can use now. Uh, slow bro and slow king. So, funny thing. I wanted slow bro from the very beginning. Someone else on the Crystal Gems wanted it. So I ended up taking their slow bro. So I ended up taking slow king. Slow king went 5 and 4 at the time I dropped it. Picked up slow bro. Slow bro was 5 and 4 at the time of dropping it. Slow bro and slow king both had the same record. I do prefer bro. Over King, though. Honestly, I seriously prefer Bro over King. Um, where is the rest of this team at? There's Heracross, um, 43rd. Um, 
which is better than Beedrill, but again, I didn't use that thing for a full season. Better than Excadrill, again, didn't use it for a full season. Magmortar right there, 2 and 5, again, disappointed in that. There's Espeon, like I said. I will not use Espeon again. Three leagues, two kills, 11 deaths. Uh -uh. I'm done with Espeon. Um, where is the rest of this team at? There's Florgis coming. Where are you? Florgis, 82, Sableye, or 81, Sableye, 82. One kill, five deaths. Ferrothorn's got to be up here somewhere else, because I know I have used Ferrothorn before. Ferrothorn, where are you? You're in the two kill. Should be in the two kill. There you are. Two leagues, two kills, six deaths, so not great. But there's Ferrothorn at 59. Duskmore, you actually shouldn't even exist. I'm just gonna clear you because you never came to the game. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I'm not finding the rest of the team. Nope, there's Nihiligo. Almost as bad as Noivern, which I said I would not use again either. Which I lied, I'm gonna try using Noivern again at some point. Because, yeah, I'm willing to do that. But Nihiligo, never again. So, yeah. We got, we've used 112 different mons. I'd say that's pretty good. That's solid. This doesn't count my little cup either, so. But, yeah, there we go. Zeraora is uh, looking for the crown. Mega Mens. Depending on how I use it, Infinity could just skyrocket up here. I don't know. That's it. I'm officially closing the book on this season of um, APA. Your Chicago Charizards will be back, hopefully for Season 4. I want to come back for Season 4 now. It's just a matter of Blin and Panther letting me back in for Season 4. Um, and we'll see. In the meantime, APA content's not going away. We have APA Infinity, the Ubers division. So those of you that watch for APA content, there's that. Hopefully you'll enjoy that. Um, there's not a lot of repeat players in Infinity compared to Indigo, so should make it interesting. Should see some new battles, some new players, um, a new team dynamic. Check that out. But yeah, with all that being said, I'm going to get out of here. Check out the links in the description down below. Luke and Jaden, uh, Twitch, we'll get back to that eventually. Discord, best place to hang out outside these videos. I strongly recommend joining the Weather Gamer Discord. But yeah, I'm going to get out of here. I got to go record a team builder.